I just want to talk about a very important topic today, okay? And the topic is, shockingly, footsteps in Overwatch and why you need to know about them. Everything, how they sound, how they're made, and more. So, first things first, please tell me which hero do you hear? Which hero has these footsteps? First, first one. Wow. Are, are you kidding me? First one is Doomfist. Wow! Oh, we're going for a treat today. Second one. Who's that? Are you Nobody's getting it right. Nobody's getting it right. Chat. This one was Faga. <laughs> We're in for a treat. I have no idea who this is. Nobody guessed. This is Sombra. This was Sombra. Wow. Well, I'll be honest. I didn't expect this to be this bad, chat. You're disappointing me. Okay, wait. Who's this? It's Zenyatta. Good job, chat. Good job. Okay. Thing number one. Thing number one. Stuff number one is knowing how the footsteps sound for each heroes. First try. I've been speaking English for a very long time. No dogs. And you see that some of them have like very um, distinguished, distinguishable footsteps, right? Yet. But let's go over the importance of footsteps in a second. I'm going to pull up a clip from today's stream, actually. And let's analyze the clip for a second i kind of know that i have widowmaker but heard that heard the footsteps listen closely to the left and now i could have died there i peeked i wanted to see if i was right or not but this is exactly what you have to listen for listening to footsteps helps you distinguish where the enemies uh realize where the enemies are playing from before even seeing them and you can adjust your positioning accordingly rather than staying here and waiting widow to get a snipe on you and this is the same for every hero in the game okay they all make separate footsteps listen again carefully and we ought to be fine Somehow, yeah. Just barely hear her there and we adjust our positioning. Otherwise, we would have played in the open and we could have died. Now, let's talk about footsteps for a second. Overwatch.fandom.com and the page is movement speed because this is super important, okay? Because it's correlated with footsteps. Now, hear me out. The base movement speed when moving forward is 5.5 meters per second, except for Tracer and Genji who move forward forwards at 6 meters per second. When moving directly backwards, if you move like this, the base speed is 90% of the forward speed. So you move a little bit slower if you move backwards. So if you're trying to run away, you just look in that direction. But the video is not about this. The video is about this. While crouching, the base movement speed is 3 meters per second for all heroes regardless of direction. Why is this important? Well, because if you crouch, you don't make that many footsteps. Let me show you. I just wanted to go Tracer. First time walk. Normally, then couch and then couch spam. Just walk from there to there. Now, this is couching. And now, couch spamming. It's a little bit scuffed. A little bit scuffed, okay? Like, the audio complicates itself. You can't, can't quite distinguish exactly where he's coming from. Okay, Reinhardt, walking normally. Oh, loud. And now crouching. Oh! See, this is when you want to do a sneaky shatter. But now, go Echo. 
Just walk normally. And now couch. What do you think about this, chat? What do you think about this? So Zenyatta, Sigma, and Zenyatta and Sigma float, right? They don't do that. They don't make that many sounds, right? When they do that. But some heroes always make sounds, right? Like tanks, even if they're crouching, you can hear them quite kind of loud. So you can actually get close to the enemy spawn, for example, for a spawn hold, because they will realize that you're playing from there. But what if I told you that there's a work around that that has been done in professional play for spawn camping for a pretty long time? Of course, the enemies can see you if they look throughout the window and stuff, but on some maps, you want to hold the spawn for a cheesy strategy at the beginning. But they might hear your footsteps. You know what you can do to uh, avoid that? You can push your teammates. So, for example, let's say over here, you can kind of like hear that if you're in spawn, that D.Va is close and she walks. Speedy, just stay here. This will work better with more people, but... You can essentially push her to spawn so that she doesn't make any footsteps it works a little bit faster with more allies and you can push her a couple of seconds before so she doesn't make footsteps at the beginning of the round it's very important to get as much information as possible you can see the enemies when you see them forehead or you can press tab and see them 15 seconds after they walk out but i remember speaking of world cup there was uh, Jane, I remember, was giving props to a player in 2016 or 2017 because he always went to the enemy's spawn dog. I think his name was Autumn Souls. God damn it, I'm old. So he would go like this. Okay, speedy walk and spawn. Diva. Okay, team, they have Diva. Boom, that's it. You scout. You scout, right? You scout before. You can also listen to shots. Wait. Widow, that's Widow. They have Widowmaker, they have Diva, and he was doing this with Zenyatta because he doesn't have footsteps. But I want to do something else, okay? I want to do something else. And this is two things that I haven't talked about, and I don't think that you know, even if you played Overwatch for a very long time. You can actually stay in here, select screen, and listen to what they have, even if you don't see them. Just pick any hero, but not Diva, please, and go on high ground over here, on top. Widow. Team, they have Widow. And then you can just like walk around here, right? You obviously can hear grapple, but then if you press H, it sends you to that spot again. And you hear that they have Widowmaker. You know? It's like it transfers your character to where the background is. Does that make sense? It's like somewhere over here in the sky. So you can actually listen to what they have. I don't know every map where you can do this, but you should definitely start doing this at the beginning of any attack round. So I would recommend pick your hero to determine the team comp that you want to play with. And then towards the end, press H. Right out of the spawn door, close to the spawn door, the exit. So you can maybe deduct what they play with. You might hear a Widowmaker. You might hear a Winston. You might, you, you might hear, I don't know, a Torbjorn. And this might actually help you out a lot. And here's another one. Here's another one, and I'm gonna need Speedy for this too, but first I wanna show it in training range. Some heroes make footsteps if you walk normally, right? Like, some heroes make footsteps, like Baptiste, right? But if you tap W, you can kinda minimize them. Okay, so you met debunked. So I was doing it wrong the entire years. I made a fool of myself for years. Don't add this part in the video, recall. He's gonna add this part, definitely. And everybody's gonna like point at me. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Do you have Cassidy with his summer scan and his normal one? Because some heroes have different footsteps depending on the skins that they're using. Okay, this is like in the normal one, I guess. Just walk, walk, walk. It's like the Sherlock Holmes one. He's gonna change to a skin that actually is pay to win because it masks, masks, um, footsteps. They changed it! They changed the sound! 
It's the same. Wait a minute. They changed the sound. No more flip flops. They changed the sound. Let's go in training range ourselves and pick Cassidy. And you're gonna hear the footsteps. The skin sound effects for his footsteps work only for you. No way. Wow. They actually made scans not be paid to win. It's client sided. In the past, in Overwatch 1, you could have heard his flip flops. This is actually good. But that's actually still paid to win because you hear other footsteps better since yours are quieter too. I covered everything that I wanted to change. Now let's see chat suggestions. Anything that uh, we can talk about? What about jumping? Every hero has a jumping sound. You can kind of mask your footsteps, honestly, if you jump. Just a little bit. Yes, this is better. You're like, if you don't want to make sound, then you should jump. Let's see if walking emotes actually have footsteps. Oh my god. This is a pay to win emote. Are you kidding me? This is a pay to win emote. Oh my god. Blizzard. What emote is this? I have to, I have to enable it. It's free. It's free. Way better than just pushing Baptiste because he can't, he can't like crouch or like walk normally. I'm going to abuse this. Well, I mean, this is this is practical, but it will take like five minutes. So if the game is like 30 minutes, this could work. Just go ball. Ball rolling versus ball walking and crouching. Not crouching, just walking like this. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, he's so loud, he's so loud. Okay, and rolling. Can you just move slow when you roll? It's better if you just roll. Just move slow. Like, tap it. My tech works. It just works with ball. It works. I repeat, it works. If you just press W, he's silent. But you have to tap it. What I was doing for years with Ana. It was for ball, the mechanic. So we covered a lot of things. A lot of things, chat. So far, we covered the fact that Footsteps to hear. It's super important to know about footsteps because you can distinguish where the enemies are coming from without you even seeing them, which helps you position yourself better. We've shown this at the beginning of the video with that Widow clip. Also, very important to know about uh, which heroes make what footsteps so you know if you're gonna get flanked or not and by who. As we've seen also at the beginning of this video, we did a, a test with Twitch chat and some of you got most of the footsteps right, but a lot of you got them wrong. So try to listen more to audio cues to add to your extra resources of an Overwatch player to your skill set. Also, walking versus crouching. In theory, crouching, in theory, crouching, you move slower, but you're more silent, okay? You're silenter than, if that that's a word, you're silent, right? Compared to like just strolling around. If you make footsteps, like with some heroes, you make footsteps non-stop, like with Baptiste or with Diva, then you might have some pay-to-win emotes that can help you like get there. Or you can just ask for your teammates to push you if you want to hold the spawn dog. You can also listen to enemies' footsteps at the spawn dog before the game starts to realize what heroes they're going to play with. Some heroes don't have footsteps, such as Zenyatta or Sigma. Other than that, a cool trick that we uh, checked was if you press H on some maps, if you try to swap the hero in spawn, especially when you're attacking on hybrid or payload maps, then you can, depending on the map that you're playing, you can determine what team comp or at least a couple of heroes that the enemies are playing with. And we also tried it out on Dorado, and we heard the enemies and what heroes they were playing with. So hopefully you will uh, find these tips useful, incorporate in the next games, try to listen more carefully to what's happening around you, and uh, maybe you're gonna get uh, more wins with these steps. So, good luck. If you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe. I'm all seven out. I'm Olaf. If you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe. Meow.